by just connecting this cable here, the current's going to go to zero. We'll actually say this is our true zero saturation. The biotechnology companies bring their employees here and they get a training session, if you will, or any one of the certification programs, and they learn like how to operate these machines. So if you watch our raw values, when I disconnect my probe, you'll see that the current value is going to drop to zero. Uh, you see these pieces of equipment that we have, these are duplicates of what people see in the biomanufacturing industry. It's exactly the same equipment. And we've actually seen that by coming through this program, we've had feedback that we've reduced the actual training time on the floor within the organizations by attending this program first. And in particular, MBI does incubator space for small startup companies. I'm sitting in a lab here, this small lab for a couple of people um, with a one-year lease. They need a little bit of space to get started. They're entrepreneurial, they have an idea, and then we want to move them out. Uh, we've had tremendous success in keeping them uh, here in Massachusetts. We really outgrew the space that we were in at 60 Prescott. It was a great incubator space, but we um, were, became successful enough and had enough employees that we just were busting out at the seams. So um, the fantastic opportunity that we had here with 50 Prescott was to participate in the actual design of the facility and set it up exactly the way that we needed to for our workflow. We're able to really tap into um, the graduates that come out of the colleges in Worcester and offer them employment opportunities here. So we see a lot of really talented um, people join here. And because we're a small company, we're able to um, allow them to grow and um, move up within the company. Which is great at making things in the past. Manufacturing was our base. But guess what? Manufacturing went south and overseas just like it went from a lot of other cities and states. So obviously they understand here in Worcester about the importance of not only the life and health sciences, but education and health care. And that's where our, I think our bread and butter is and that's where our future is. So I would say to the next governor, uh, stay the course because I think it, uh, it's showing success and will continue to be successful.